and welcome to the Adam and Seth Show. I'm Adam Hipsky alongside Seth Early. And today we're here to talk about the NBA free agency and just some general uh, stuff about that. So first we're going to do some winners and losers of the NBA free agency. Seth, who, who was your winner? My winner was the Dallas Mavericks. They brought in Seth Curry, uh, Harrison Barnes, and Andrew Bogut. They got some key role players that can help fill in for Dirk when he uh, most likely will retire in a few years. What do you, who are your winners? Uh, one winner I have is the Indiana Pacers losing only a, not even a lottery pick in the 20th pick in the draft and losing George Hill, picking up Al Jefferson and Jeff T and Jeremy Evans. But I just think that that is really going to help. And also picking up Aaron Brooks as another one of uh, to play some garbage minutes is really going to help them out. I also have the Phoenix Suns. They had a really great draft, picking up a bunch of draft picks, getting Dragon Bender at the fourth pick, and they're just picking up a bunch of other guys like uh, Tyler Eulis and, um, oh, goodness. Now I'm just kind of forgetting. <laughs> anyway, some losers. Seth, who's your loser? My big loser, the Houston Rockets. They lost one of their key players in Dwight Howard. Now they won't be able to be, run their um, – It'll be hard for them to run an isolation offense without, uh, with just, or no really strong big men down in the paint to uh, grab rebounds and dish them out to Beverly and Carter. Who's your loser? My loser is the Washington Wizards, as they had a bunch of shots on really good key players that they got down to the top three, even the top two on, and really missed out on all of them, only picking up uh, Yard Mahimi and Andrew Nicholson, really nothing really impressive there. So that's my loser from the NBA free agency. Yes. All right, so who's your big steal in the NBA draft? Uh, I got to go with, uh, you know, it's really hard to tell because uh, I think not really a steal, but Ben Simmons, I don't think he's going to turn out to be the player that we want him to be. But uh, not. I don't think there's really going to be a steal in the draft, but I just think that that's going to be one of uh, something that will just like change what people will think about. And we have a call in. Be the starter and star that we're expecting him to be. 